Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's the crooner with the silky smooth voice and social media mashups to match. Yes, and with hits like Long Song Away and Don't Go, there's much buzz being created about his upcoming album, Audacity. But no need to go on. Let's take a listen for ourselves. so good at this thing called love but all I know is if you teach me I know I could be a better man until you show me all that I could become I didn't know what it was to be good at this thing called Have a seat, <laughs> sir. That was real good. Thank yeah. you so much. No, come on, you hit them notes. <laughs> God, today. today. That's right. Today, tomorrow, and yes. forever, Kevin Ross. Thank yes, you. God. So let's get into it. I yeah. mean, you signed your first record deal fresh out of college. Yeah. Looking back on that now. Yes. What did you learn? What was the greatest thing that you learned from that? Um, ownership. Mm. Ownership is important. Um, you know, your intellectual property, what you create, is probably one of the most important things for a creative to have. You know, but you live and you learn. Yeah. And I'm grateful for the experience. I'm grateful for the platform that was presented to me that God has blessed me with. And so, you know, through those experiences, I've learned to, you know, take ownership and grab my career and my life by the reins. Yeah. yeah. Speaking Absolutely. of ownership, you started in this business as a songwriter. Yes. Mm -hmm. So did you envision yourself? I mean, even though you have all this talent and yeah. I'm sure you knew you know about your talent. <laughs> <laughs> but even though you started off as a songwriter, did you envision yourself being a performer while you were a songwriter? Uh yeah, I would do a couple of like spot dates here and there in college and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I kind of knew that that could have been a path that mm -hmm. I could take. But at the time, I just wanted to be really good at writing and, and wow. producing. I knew that that was going to be a key essential uh, factor to my artistry yeah. or just not even artistry as, as it pertains to being a vocalist, but just as a creative. So you mm -hmm. want to write for other people as well. Yes. And that's why you, okay. Yeah. Yes. Smart. Yes. Smart. Smart. Yes. 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 yes, absolutely. So while you were on Motown, you had an EP, uh, yes. Dialogue in the Gray, and yes. then a full length, The Awakening. Yes. What would you say uh, is the impetus for your success? Why do you think that you've been able to sustain yourself so long? Um, truly God's favor, to be honest. Um, there's certain things that you don't have control over. You know, mm -hmm. um, the only thing that you can do is meet God halfway. Yeah, you that's know? right. So, you know, you can't, you can't stay in the valley for too long. You know, he wants you to climb up that mountain. He wants you to climb up those hills and meet him halfway there. And if I, you know, meet him halfway, he'll take me the rest of the way. Yes, for sure. good yeah. stuff. Good now stuff. Now you have a new album called Audacity. Audacity, on the yeah. Way. What yeah. can we expect from this new album? Um, compared to the previous album, The Awakening, um, Audacity is a little more gritty. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. It's more honest. I think that people will get a chance to see who I am as a man. Mm -hmm. Um, a, a little bit more, just m uh, more facets mm -hmm. of Kevin Ross. So, mm -hmm. yeah. As far as writing, like, what is your process like? 
when you sit down pen and paper, or do you do pen and paper? What's it like? Because I'm sure Selena has I'm different ways. Yeah. 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 Old, school. Yeah. old school pen and paper. Right. 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 paper too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What's your process like quickly? Um. Well, quickly. Uh, honestly, I, I don't do pen and paper. Um, I start with the melody first and I start with concepts, yeah. whether that's experiences or whatever that is, and then um, I really start to write the story. Yes. You know, stories are very important to me. Good, so, good. Yeah. Well, keep writing the stories, and if yes. you're sticking around, you'll get to enjoy Kevin Ross a little longer because he's coming to the table. Yay. Make sure you check out his new single, Thing Called Love, on all digital streaming platforms. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. All right. Thanks, all right. Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, beautiful. Thank yes. You. you just sing beautiful. My <laughs> God, you did it. <laughs> I never was so good at this thing called love. All I know is if you teach me, I know I can. You better make a t-shirt. That was a mashup yeah. from the amazingly talented guy, Kevin Ross, who is sitting next to me Thank and Miss Squad. Yes. So what goes into a mashup? How long does that take? <laughs> hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, hours and hours and hours. But it's, it's well worth it when I see people's reactions and mm -hmm. responses to it. So, you know, I grew up in a musical family. So my dad, he sings and, you know, the whole family sings. So I kind of got acclimated to harmony and then playing keys helps as well. And yeah. And just going through the whole process. Come yeah. on. Harmonies. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's hard enough to harmonize with other people, but you harmonize with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you have such range, and it's so difficult sometimes to kind of go from, you know, your falsetto to your natural, yeah. and then back to your falsetto, and then still be on key. Yes. So yes. have you found it very difficult to be understood in this industry with that kind of sound? Mm. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been a journey. Definitely been an uphill battle, you know what I mean? But it's a battle that's worth fighting because, you know, uh, the integrity of R&B music, um, you know, has to be kept and it has to be sustained. Um, I believe that I am a bridge artist. I acknowledge my predecessors. I live in the present while, you know, building the future as well. And so it's my responsibility to kind of keep the integrity intact. Very smart yeah. and I just was thinking like in my mind, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stalk him after this. Yes. Yes. Um, you know, Kevin, the way that people... <laughs> I just was thinking I'm going to stalk him after this. Oh, the way man. that people listen and consume music nowadays, especially R&B music, yeah. is not as it was in the past, and you yeah. speak about the past. Um, when you create your music, especially as an independent artist, do you yeah. keep this in mind? And if so, what is your approach yeah. to music to keep it true, you know what I'm saying? Mm. To keep it true to the uh. R&B genre, because obviously you are a rhythm and blues, a, you know, you have soul. Yes. So um, to keep it true to that, what is your approach in making sure that you stay true to the musical genre? Well, to be honest, I mean, my mantra is truth doesn't change with trend, Come right? On so <laughs> with that being said, Come on, Ken. You know, <laughs> Come on, Ken. Like, like that's her son, she went. <laughs> that's good, Ken. But, I just but, like it. But, but truth doesn't change with trend, so, you know, um, stories first. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You have to have um, uh, an interesting story, something that is not necessarily provocative, mm -hmm. but something that kind of perks people's ears up, you know? Yeah. Um, something that they can connect with, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's love, whether it's heartache, whether it's inspiration, whether it's, you know, whatever's going on within the social climate. Um, but we do have to hit something emotionally, and so that's, that's right. always been the truth, and it will always be that. So mm -hmm. no matter what happens in the music industry, or no matter the current tides of it, mm -hmm. the truth will always penetrate through. That's mm -hmm. the songwriting. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But do you have anything else in you? You know, we, we, we know you got your new music, yeah. you have your own, uh, on your own label. Yeah. You're busy, so when do you get time or find time for love or to do anything outside <laughs> of music? You have to make time. Oh, you, you got, gotta you got love interest? Uh, Why? I'm a... I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm enjoying myself right now. Yeah. <laughs> right. So if you weren't doing any of this, songwriting, yeah. singing, mm -hmm. what would your life be like? I'll probably be a teacher. Me too! Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm okay. sorry. That's like your whole no, 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 no. 
Kevin, I got a question. Yes. Obviously, we just talked, we established that you like soul music the way you, that you sing. Obviously, you're in a certain kind of genre right now. But yeah. I feel like as a songwriter, you can stretch. If there's another genre mm. that you would want to get into mm. later on, what would it be? Wow. Uh, it's actually two. Uh oh, uh, come so, on. Now. So it would be uh, country. <gasps> Me too. And then, uh, and then it would be jazz. So yeah. those mm -hmm. would be two. You would do jazz. jazz. Yeah. My God, yes. today. Come on. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you, Kevin. Oh, thank you. Yes, Jim. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank you. Make sure you look out for Kevin's new album, Audacity. It is on the way. But in the meantime, you can listen to his new single, Thing Called Love, on yes. all digital streaming platforms. Can we give it up for it, Kevin? Yes. Yes. That's how you're supposed to be as an RB artist. Yes. Not out here talking about you the king. <laughs> Oh, my God.